Hey everyone, this is Dave Gould from Banzoogle. Welcome to the fourth of five video website reviews as part of the Hypebot and Banzoogle video website review contest. Today we're going to be reviewing the website for the band Mushy Callahan. They're a four piece, four brother rock band from Toronto, which actually isn't too far from where Banzoogle is based here in Montreal. Uh, so, once again, we're going to be breaking up the review into three sections. We're going to go over the design, the organization and navigation, and the content of their website. So, let's get right to it. All right, so let's go to the band's website, which is mushycallahan.com. And the first thing you're going to notice is that giant video playing in the background, which, to be perfectly honest, it, it's, it's kind of cool, but it really slows down the loading of the website. Um, and it's also flash-based, so that won't show up on mobile devices, which is actually okay, because when I did check out the band's website on an iPhone, they did have a mobile version of their site, but for bands, I'm not a huge fan of mobile versions of websites because all you're getting is the news and blog format. If I want to see photos or videos or check out their upcoming shows or even hear music, it's just not going to happen. So I'd rather them move away from Flash um, and have a website that just works well on a mobile device. Um, Another thing is when you surf around the website, everything has to reload. So there's a new video that plays in the background or a new image. Uh, the menu has to reload. So it's a little slow. Um, there's a few times when I was surfing through the website where the side menu didn't even load. So I had to keep reloading the page. So that was a bit annoying. Um, from a branding standpoint, the only element that really shows you what the band is kind of all about, what their genre might be, is this video playing in the background. Um, so you take that away and really it's just uh, a dark site with white text. So I'd really like to see the band create a site with, with no flash and with a strong header image that has a good, great photo of the band, maybe a band logo. Um, and, and sort of projects more what the band is all about without having to use this heavy um, flash-based video in the background. Okay, for the organization and navigation of their website, they have a left-hand sidebar navigation here. And to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of sidebar navigation. Um, I find it takes up valuable space on a website that could be used for an embedded video or maybe some calls to action or social links, things like that. That being said, uh, the navigation on their website is super easy. Uh, it's very clear. Uh, each section is properly labeled. You know exactly what you're going to get when you click on, click on music. You're going to get a music player. I don't know if you can hear that background noise of my Mac laptop trying to work really hard, but that happens each time I go on their website, to be honest, because of that video playing in the background. It's very heavy. Uh, so I have to talk a little bit louder over that. But getting back to their navigation, each section is very clear. You get what, you're, what you think you're going to get. There's no fancy names for each, uh, for each section, which is good. Um, the only other thing I'd say about their navigation is the order of the sections. For something on a, on a left, left hand side, I would really be looking to see an about page towards the top, but on their site it's at the very bottom. Um, I would naturally look for the contact and store pages towards the bottom, but those are found in the middle. Um, it's not a huge deal, but there really tends to be an agreed upon order of pages uh, for navigation and menu options, so it's, it's not a huge deal, but it, it did take me an extra couple of seconds when I was surfing their site just to, to find those sections each time because I, I'm just naturally looking for them to be in a certain place and in a certain order. Um, so that's it for organization navigation. Let's take a look at the content of their website. Okay, for the content of Mushy Callahan's website, we're here on the home page, and they have their latest news here, which is great. Um, but it's all in third person. There's no personal content. Oh, all right. Uh, I thought that was an arrow to scroll. That was an arrow, apparently, to hide the news. Um, here we go. So you can scroll with the scroll wheel on my mouse. So it's all third person news. I would really love to see uh, some personal content, like a blog added, or at least have their news in first person so they're having a conversation with their fans. Um, 
what else here on the homepage? The other social links, which is good. Um, they, they don't have a music player or, or an embedded video that, that people can watch and listen to. Those are two really important elements that are missing from their homepage, as well as any kind of call to action of where they want people to go on their site. So that, do they want them to check out the new music? Do they want them to make a purchase from their store? Or do they want them to sign up to their mailing list? And speaking of which, there is no mailing list sign up at all on their website. Um, not even on their contact section, nowhere. And that's a huge missed opportunity. Mailing lists are still the best way to keep in touch with your fans over the long term. You have to get those email addresses. So I would advise the band to get a mailing list sign up on their homepage and maybe a couple places on their site uh, right away. So let's move on to the music section. And it's pretty simple. Uh, they have a SoundCloud player here, which is fine. Uh, you can listen to all the songs from their EP, which is nice. Um, I'd really like to know more about their EP, when it was recorded, where it was recorded, and I'd really like to see a free download option uh, in exchange for an email address, of course. Um, so if they added those two elements, I think it would be a really nice music section. If we go to their photos section, they have good organization of their photos. They have their promo shots here and their live shots down here, um, which is really good. So as they add photos, it'll be really easy to find what you're looking for if you're a fan or a member of the media. Let's go over to their video section. So they have some videos embedded here, uh, some YouTube videos, which is great. Um, clear titles, uh, lots of options here for, for videos. Uh, I like how they embed their videos in a nice curated section on their website and don't simply send uh, people away to YouTube. Uh, you really want to keep fans on your website as long as possible and interacting with them. Uh, so they did a really good job with that in their video section. So move on to the contact section. Um, they only have a booking email address here, uh, which is fine. It's important to have um, a specific email address uh, so bookers know how to get in touch with you. And they have their, their social links here, which is also very good. But I'd really like to see some kind of general email or mail form that their fans could get in touch with them. Um, if I'm a fan, I'm not sure if I should be sending an email to booking at mushycallahan.com. So if they had an info or, um, or again, just a mail form uh, where fans could submit a question or a compliment or whatever, I think that would be a nice addition to their contact page. So if you go to their store page, it actually just sends you away completely to their Bandcamp page. Now it's fine to be selling your music through Bandcamp, um, but you should never send people away from your website from a main menu um, option, from a main menu section. So when they click on store, you really should be kept in your own website and not send people away completely. What they could do instead is on their store section of their site, keep people there, um, preferably sell direct to their fans through their website, um, and if not, then show the different options. They could have an iTunes icon, an Amazon icon, and a link to their, their Bandcamp page instead of simply just sending people away because they may just never return. So moving on to their show section, They have uh, a nice clear calendar here. It seems to be uh, an embedded uh, Sonic Bids calendar, and um, and it works well. It's very clear, uh, cleanly laid out. Um, I'd you know I'd love to see some more information, which is an option in Sonic Bids. You can add uh, more information to each show, like uh, cover charge, uh, directions, address of the venue, things like that. So, you know, if they could add those details going forward, uh, that might be helpful helpful for fans to uh, who want to go to their show. Moving on to the press section. They have a pretty decent press section. Uh, they have an embedded uh, audio interview interview from 1021 The Edge, uh, which is a Toronto uh, rock station, the rock station. And uh, they've got an album review here, uh, another interview from a magazine with an embedded... Um, embedded images from the magazine, which is great. Um, you know, they, they can step this up a little bit and make it a full-fledged digital press kit if they had some high-res downloadable images. 
um, some downloadable music, um, short and long versions of their bio. Um, so that way press and bloggers and podcast uh, hosts can just go to the press section and get everything they need all in one place. And finally, the about section of the site, uh, which again for me was a bit confusing to have it all the way down at the bottom. It's usually one of the first things I want to have a look at on a, on a band website. But they have a, pre they have a pretty good uh, bio. Um, the only thing I'll say about it actually is that they wait until the second paragraph um, down here uh, to talk about the fact that all four members in the band are brothers, which I find probably the most interesting thing about the band, just from an outsider um, discovering the band. It's, it's kind of cool. So, you know, if I was writing rewriting their bio, I'd probably put that somewhere near the top and maybe even lead off with that, because it's kind of a, a quirky, interesting, and unique uh, fact about the band. Um, but besides that, the solid bio, you know, maybe a short version and an elevator pitch um, it could be added for media who need different uh, different versions of their bio for, or for festivals, things like that. It would be a nice touch, but they have a pretty solid bio as it is. All right, so to end this review, I'll just say that uh, Mushy Callahan have uh, pretty good content on their website. It's well organized. I would say that they should probably move away from the flashy elements of their site and focus more on functionality and some more personal content as well as some of those uh, important elements of their homepage like a music player, uh, embedded video, and of course that mailing list sign up. They really need to, uh, to get on that. Super important. So I hope this review was helpful for the band and I hope it was helpful for everyone watching this video. Stay tuned for more video website reviews as part of the Hypebot and Bandzoogle video website review contest. Take care.